Right, it's the 12th of April 2016. I've come back to Paul on a relatively sunny day after visiting West Huntsville. Looking for parishes and moodies. I couldn't find any parishes or moodies and they weren't in the church record books either. Um, so here we go, we're in uh, St John the Baptist of uh, Pollock, this little children's herbal area look. Help yourself it says. But I have found some parishes here. Now I was nearly going to go, then I thought these people in America or Australia or wherever they are who can't get over here easy. I know they want to. But she was going on about West Huntsville, this woman who I communicated with and um, well, she sent me a message online for one of my videos that she'd seen of the coastal walk. Um, but basically I've got to try and remember where I've seen them now. Um, I've taken pictures. Well, I've actually seen them. Oh, yeah, here we are. Here's a parish here. These are the newer ones. In loving memory of our dear sister, Janetta Ann Parrish, who died on March the 28th, 1970. So she's quite close to the church, look. So that's her there. I'll just re-follow my footsteps because I know there's a lot, there's some over there. There's a big family parish gravy over there, the old one, which I'll come to in a minute. There's a little group up here as well. And I think there's one or two scattered here and there about. There's lots of um, different names in the graveyard here. Um, I'll just go back up. I'll just retrace my steps. Um, yeah, Reasons is a quite a common name here, I've noticed. Reasons. The lovely white tower there. Yeah, we're just going to go. And I thought, no, go back, Sheila. Go back and do... Um, go back and do it again. So I'll just go over like I did. I went all in and out of the graves. Um, if I do miss any now, they will. I have got photos um, that I did as well. And I don't think there were any there. I only did it half an hour ago, but the thing is, I do so many graves. I've got. I've already done one church for another family, Meekers, and then I. Then there were the hollies, of course. Yeah, just... There's a group of makers there and some further down there. But I'm just going to go up and down here a little bit. It would be a shame to not video them all. But I know I didn't really get to them until I was over here. But, um... Sometimes you don't spot something the first time. That happened to me earlier. I didn't spot a meeker even though I was stood right in front of it. That was at um, West Huntsville. Yeah, you can, you can miss. You can miss. Whites. Lots of whites. Oh, a whole row of whites along here. Just in case there's association with names. Watts is another name that crops up quite a bit. Watts. Coombs gets everywhere. Um, and here we have behind me it's not this one I think there's some down there I'm going to go back down there in a minute but here, we've got Edmund Parrish. Died the 27th of December 1944 and Barbara Ann Parrish. She died the 24th of March 1970, always remembered. That's full of red ants there. I tried to pull that away, but it was 
full of ants. Then there's a double one here, look. Another little family vault. And it's the um, little letters are missing here. In loving memory of... I don't know quite... It could be something Mary, not Rebecca. Um, Re letter. Let the letter. Letty. Beloved daughter of John and Mary. Then we've got Tom Moody Parish, the beloved son of John and Mary Parish. He died the 11th of August 1932, aged 74, and Eli Eliza Ann Martin of John and Mary Parish, who died the 28th of February, 1938, aged 76. They get older than this in a minute, by the way. And this is right up near the hedge. And I look over to the church there. So this is where we've got the parish grave. I'm going to go back down that way, because I've got a feeling there are some more. But I've got to go... This is what I do, because it's a small graveyard. Um, it's easy for me. Oh yes, Elizabeth Moody Parish. That's right, there's a Moody here. Elizabeth Moody Par Parish died 20th of Jan 1949, age 82. So this is quite an old lady. She would have been around when the people were emigrating to the USA or... Um, Australia. So that's right, we've got Elizabeth Moody Parish there. And there she is in line with the church, look. I knew there was somebody else, more whites. We just we just go back down here. A few years ago I'd, I'd never have forgotten, but I didn't, uh, it's one of those tragedies of getting old, I'm afraid is uh Retention of information has to go on the um, computer, <laughs> recorded to memory stick, everything. <sighs> yeah, there's a big, big family. Um, just, just in the corner, there's a big parish family. I haven't, don't think I've seen any other more Moody's. That was the only Moody I saw there. I'm just going back up. It gives you a view of the cemetery anyway. I'll just zoom in. There's that Edmund Parish one there, look. Edmund and Barbara there. And John and Mary next to them. That's a little parish family plot there. With um, Elizabeth... Moody Parish. She's oh, look, you're going to get the bell as well. That's a bonus. One o'clock. Sorry, there's no more than that. So that's her there. Elizabeth Moody Parish died in 1949, age 82. There could be others. Some are not marked, so we can't see them. It's, quite, it's turned out quite warm today. Now I'm up in the top corner of the churchyard here, by the fence. There's quite a good view from here. Of the church, look, and of the graveyard. Right up in the corner. Like I said, if I've left any out, I will be putting the photos on as well. But I think we've got to make our way down here now. I said he found the one, not a whole moody grave, it was uh But I've got two other graveyards I'm going to yet. Yeah? I'm going to um, Puritan. 
I'm not sure if I'll do Wollamington and then back to East Huntsville. I'm not sure if I'm going to do Wollamington today. So it's quite, it does take it out of you, you know, when you, um, Yeah. There we go. I just zoom in again to that one over there. Edmund Parish. It's right over there by the fence, look. I think it's nice to have a video as well. Then down here, we've got more. This is the parish plot, all this here, all this here, going right the way around the edge there, look, that's all parish. They're not all marked, there might be a stone under all that, I don't know. But here we've got, in loving memory of uh, Annie Maud Parish, who died the 7th of August 1946, age 58, also of her dear husband, W. George Parrish, who died the 24th of January 1949, age 65. Now they lived through the war. Lived through two world, war, two world wars. The next door we've got, this is an old one. In loving memory of Jane Parrish, died the 6th of April 1947, age 91. Now that's going back a long way. That's going back to the time when the she would have been a baby when some of them emigrated. But that obviously might be her married name there. Then here, there's the church and here's the parish. Someone's just cut, come to cut the grass. There's the church, St John the Baptist. And here we've got a very old one. In loving memory of John Parrish, who died February the 17th, 1879, age 51. So he would have been born about 18... Um, 20 something. He was 51. And Mary Anne, the beloved wife of the above, who died March the... It looks like the 13th, 1917, or it might be 1911. Might be 19, yeah, 1911. Also, of William John, son of the above, who died June the 28th, 1890, aged 30 years, at rest with Jesus. Now, I had to clean all this off earlier. It was all covered, and there could be... Under here, this is another stone probably under here, you see. But it might not be, the stone might not be there anymore. Same there. This is a big plot of parishes here. So you've got Jane there, look. Jane there. And the... W. George next door, and then you've got John and Mary here. This is the really old one here. John and Mary. In this great big rectangular plot. Here. With the church right behind them. So it's right up this side. So this is a parish plot. I don't think there are any more. I think that was it. I did have a feeling there was another one, but um, I think I, I, I think I found it. So here we go, everyone. That's the parish plot there, close to that tree on the edge here. There's the vicarage in there, and down there is a lane I took called Vicarage Lane. You go out that gate and you go onto a little lane. You come to Vicarage Lane, which takes you down to the River Road. 
to the River Parrot. Now it's not open. Some old stones, some old um, yew trees here, very big old yew tree there. Oh, there's even a grave down here. Look, I've never seen this one before. Just shows you they're probably under here as well. Look, it's the first time I've seen this one. This looks very old. Oh, this is a Re Jane Minturn, daughter of Charlotte Minturn. She died age two in 1836 and Charlotte died in 1842 age 35 and Edward Reasons who died the 4th of August 1839 67 the memory of the just is blessed well I've never seen that one someone's obviously cleaned this one up and god look there's a human bone there by the look of it but of course the foxes um, dig all this sort of thing up you see this looks to me like it would be all graves here as well, I think. Maybe they will tidy it back. Yeah, all here will be graves. Sorry to show you that bone, I might edit it out. Um, I can see a little mouse crawling around inside there. It's a little habitat for animals, but I should imagine there was graves all around here as well. Why would this one be on its own, you see? First time I've seen this one. That's interesting, isn't it? You find, see, this is what I say. I've been here several times, but I find something different every time I come here. And of course, they're not always that keen to talk to you, uh, but um, some people have got a lot of knowledge. A lot of knowledge. Some people write it in books.